946 on this Saturday. Carl Nelson is here to imagine it with us. We've got some barbecue tongs and a microwave. I have no idea what's happening here, but I, I like where this is going. <laughs> okay, we're talking about <laughs> polymers today. Okay. Okay. And polymers are just really long molecules with identically repeating units. So it's kind of like this chain. All okay, right. so it'd be really, really long, lots of identical units. And often they're all sort of tangled up on top of one another. Okay. Now, two liter bottles are made of uh, polyethylene terephthalate. PET for short. Okay. Okay, PET. And it's a polymer. And we're going to do a little demonstration here to see what happens if we pour boiling hot water onto the two liter bottle. Oh. So I need you to stabilize it so we don't spill. So just gotcha. grab, grab the top. Grab okay. the top up there and just kind of gently hold it there. Now we're not trying to pour it in it, just on it. No, I'm going to pour it on the outside and on the inside. So 212 degrees boiling water. We're mm -hmm. going to add it to the two liter bottle on the outside, on the inside. Ah, what a world, what a world. I'm melting. Yeah, now <laughs> see, that's, that's great you said that because we can't melt PET with water that's at 212 degrees. Its melting point is 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what is going on? I'm glad you asked. Well, actually, <laughs> let me dump the rest of this in here and see how far we can go. Okay, that's pretty good. So what's happening there is the molecules, remember the, the, the polymers? Uh -huh. When they make these bottles, they actually stretch out that stuff and let it sort of freeze mm -hmm. with the strands of the polymers stretched out. They cool it quickly. Now when we add some heat energy to the bottle, those polymers can shrink. Okay? And if you compare it to the regular bottle, Look at that. I mean, there's quite a difference there. Hit with a shrink ray. Exactly. Now, <laughs> you would normally think, though, that when you hit something with heat, it expands. Yeah. Right? That's most solids will expand. With these polymers, though, it's kind of interesting. Imagine two strands of those polymers, okay? See how long the chains are? Right. If I add some thermal energy to that polymer by doing this, the chains get shorter, <laughs> okay? Because it gets to wrap up around one another. Okay. And if you let it cool, they get longer. So that's what's happening here. Now, there is one other thing we could do that's kind of fun using polymers. And these chip bags are made with a polymer coating on the outside, and there's an aluminum coating on the inside to stop oxygen from getting in and spoiling the food. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to do that thing that you always hear <laughs> you should never do. Oh, excellent. And <laughs> i got to caution you, this is a $10 junker microwave. Yeah. Okay. Don't try this with mom and dad's great Don't microwave. Don't try this at home. home, period. How about that? <laughs> okay, so what's interesting here is when you put metal in a microwave, it'll start to arc. Okay, the microwaves will sort of cause currents to flow in the metal, it'll arc, but it'll also heat up that piece of plastic on the outside. Now, I never realized that this was a danger with a bag of Doritos. So, it might be hard to see. Whoa. Yeah, a little, little zapping in, in just a couple seconds. <laughs> and what you get, Whoa. there you go, Tony, there's your bag of Doritos, right? So you compare Whoa. it to the original, it's quite a bit of difference. And it's all because that polymer is shrinking as we add oh. some heat energy to it. Nuke all you it's want. It's done. It's we'll done. make more. All right. There you go. Check that out. It's actually amazing, though, how tiny it gets. And you can almost read, don't eat it, but you can almost read the writing on the back because it shrinks right. uniformly. Like a right. shrinky dink. Like a shrinky. It's exactly how shrinky dinks work. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, so don't try this at home <laughs> no. with the good microwave. <laughs> All right, fun so, with polymers. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Carl. Hey, if you want to have some more fun with Carl and all of his crazy concoctions, including Shrinky Dink Doritos, you can head on down to the Imagination Station. That's at One Discovery Way. They're open today from uh, 10 until 5, and then tomorrow from noon to 5. And this is the last week to check out Titanic. Okay. It leaves on the 21st, so come on down today. It's Saturday. If you're 12 and under, you get in free with an adult. Excellent. All right. That's Lucas uh, County. From Shrinky Dink to Sinky Dink. That's right. I don't know. That's this <laughs> week's Imagine It. Now we're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.